Here go, very nice, very great puppy. Very happy that we've gotten him. As you can see, guys, from this face, I'm super happy that we've gotten a puppy here. That is just amazing. Whatever, let's go now for another Zamzam. Is that it? Are these all Zamzams in this entire place? Hey, yo, guys, it is me, Happy Sarakan. Welcome back to Last Earth Survival. So right now, we're gonna be doing this Snow Valley event, and I believe that this is gonna be my kind of last time doing this Snow Valley event, because when we go here to tasks and we open up week two, so there's like 13 hours left until week two tasks are gonna open up. So I think tomorrow when I'm gonna go here, I'm not sure what's gonna spawn here, but maybe Snow Valley event is gonna be gone, and even if it's not gonna be gone, I do believe that there will be another event, at least that's what I am hoping for. I tried my best to stay away from spoilers, and now let's just continue a bit further. We're gonna do this event, maybe I'm gonna get a little bit of points or something. Oh, and also I wanted to tell you something else, is that when we go here to task, boom, and today's daily task is to dismantle five decorations. Again, it's not really that hard to get, like, those five decorations, but at the same time, it's not really that super easy. It's same task as to get, like, thousand points, like those thousand ornaments. I mean, it's not super hard, but it is kind of difficult, especially when you get like this same kind of tasks like three times a week or like two times a week or something. But whatever, I think this is going to be the bear event once again. Yes, indeed, guys, this is going to be the bear event. Foxy, get out of here. We're going to be fighting the bear. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Only 500 health. Kind of sad that he doesn't do more damage. I definitely think the developers could have made this bear be more strong. Wait, I want to see how much damage is he going to do when I'll be without only seven damage like that, guys. I mean, it's only a young bear, whatever, but look at how huge he is. Even with those attacks, he still does only three damage. Again, I'm not going to really complain here that, oh my god, bear is too easy, but it's not really that intimidating, you know, when a simple zombie does more damage than a young bear is kind of weird. But again, maybe when they will release that infected bear, that infected bear is going to be like an adult bear, and it will actually do some more damage, so we will see. Now, let's go over here. Okay, there's going to be a numb zombie. I do believe that fighting those numb zombies is kind of useless because they don't drop us anything. Okay, so I did forget to take here a hat. Now, I'm going to go in and zoom here and just bunch of those dudes, but I do know that that one guy drops me 100 points. So, you know what? Maybe we're going to just deal with it. Yeah, we're going to take here this broken Glock. We're going to go over here, and I try to deal with one numb zombie. They have so much defense, so much protection, and at the same time, they don't really drop a lot of cool stuff, but hey, we're just gonna run around this snowmobile, and today we're gonna put it to test once and for all, is that whenever I say, okay, so the guy just got stuck, that's epic, so a lot of people keep saying that, well, Cyric, why you're complaining about this snowmobile, like, snowmobile is really fast in the snow location, the point is, Oh, we got in the gingerbread. Very nice. Let's get this. So the point is, when they added these skins here to the game, you can go to the Jennifer and upgrade your bikes for speed. And having here and having here different skins that drive slower kind of makes and deceives the entire purpose of even having that the gas station to upgrade your skins. But maybe, you know, having some certain skins where you could drive in the snow location, maybe kind of makes a little bit of sense, but still kind of weird. You know, it's same thing. That snow cart, not the snow cars, but the ice cream cart. Look at that, guys. There's this ice cream ice cream cart, right? So what? That ice cream cart is supposed to ride slower? It's just a skin. The, the ice cream cart, that ice cream cart is supposed to go as fast as that motocross or any other bike that there is in the game because this is just a skin. So in my opinion, same thing should be going with the snowmobile and that ice cream cart should be ridiculously fast. Same as like, as I said, like any other bike here in the game, but I don't know. We will see. Otherwise, there is no point to go and upgrade your bikes uh, speed or any other thing here in the game because the only reason why they removed like different stats from all these bikes so that all bikes are equal and it's just a skin but this snowmobile is not a skin unless they want to add different bikes here only for the snow location which maybe kind of is going to make sense but i don't even think it's going to be really that fast here but hey we're going to check it out i just want to go and find another chest here i just i just wanted to explain here my thoughts and my opinion what i think about that skin because uh, a lot of people just thought that i am just not happy with this skin or something i'm just i just finally explained here what i always wanted to say guys so if you agree with me hey you agree with me if you don't agree with me well that's uh, sad Okay, so let's take the rest of the items here and let's try to... Okay, so I just got this, got the paints, you know what? Epic, epic. Still not enough. Oh, okay, finally henchmen, dude. Finally henchmen. We're gonna go and deal with those bad boys. Kind of sad that I did not take any other whatever... Ba ba ba. My shotgun spread shot. That would be better if I got in here a shotgun spread shot. Okay, so let's deal with the gosler. And while I did not forget here, smash the like button on the video because... Why not? As I always said, yeah, I know, it's like, like, support the videos. Yes, guys, likes do support the videos, as I said many, many times already, and I'm very happy when you were smashing those likes. Angel, 
figurine of an angel. I think we can put it that on top of the Christmas tree, but from what I know, at least from the rumors that I've heard again from all the screenshots, is that on the week two or in week... Again, I don't want to really spoiler that much, but I think it's kind of cool. So on week two or and on week three, you will be able to get like a Santa's head or something, and then you'll be able to upgrade it, and it's going to have like 800 points or something. But the point is, again, rewards here are really low, so if you are that kind of person who just tries your best to struggle here to get like to the top 5%, or something guys just ask yourself if it's really worth all the struggle because to be in the top five percent you will have to have like forty thousand points and that's that's a lot of points and you're not gonna get them even with pay to win a lot of people think that oh my god this event is paid to win the point is to get like where where are those uh, duct tapes i want to show you guys the duct tapes so here we go we have here the duct tapes and like 12 duct tapes are gonna cost you like 15 bucks like 16 bucks or whatever that is and 12 duct tapes is almost nothing when you will have to after like level 20 or after level 30 in those toys you're gonna use like the, those 10 duct tapes just for one level so imagine that you'll need to spend like over 100 bucks just for one toy to upgrade it to level 40 and even then it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get it so the point is this event is not even really that much paid to win because everybody who spends here money on the game or something ain't nobody gonna spend like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks to be in the top five percent for these kind of rewards because you can just seriously do that bunker bravo once and probably you are gonna get a bit better rewards than you are getting here especially plus if you don't have the premium pass here then you're not gonna get the lower line here you're not gonna get the steel plates you're not gonna get other stuff so rewards are even worse if you don't have the premium pass again i'm not here complaining or anything guys it's all up to you because a lot of people well sir you're just complaining all the time i'm trying here to save people's time because that's the entire point of the videos here to help out people to give my opinion so that they can decide what they want to do and it's all up to you if you want to go and try to grind for those top five percent hey it's all up to you, you can do whatever you want i'm just here saying so that more people are prepared for it and let's say they don't spend their 10 hours a day grinding like those red zones to get more and more ornaments trying to be in the top five percent when most likely that's not gonna happen so keep shoveling how many times i have to tell you keep shoveling i said very nice you just you just have to show them who's the boss here you see when i come here he starts shoveling so i hope that you're gonna keep on the same tempo when i'm not looking at you you do keep doing your own stuff. And here we go, guys. We have a little bit of snowballs. And he's like, oh, my God. He's back again. And I'm like, yes, I'm back. What's up, Santa? How are you doing? How was your day? He's like, well, it was great before you came here. And I'm like, yep. Here we go. Take another one. You know what? After we're going to come out, I'm going to throw another snowball in his face. That will be epic. So we're going to most likely go and place another toy here on the top. I guess that's okay. The point is upgrading these toys to level 15 is not It's not even easy. I mean, it's ridiculously easy. Here we go. We have like 147 ornaments. Like I think it will go easily to level uh, 15 with only like 100 points or something. So here we go. It went easily, ridiculously easy to level 15. I think maybe, okay, level 14, 15, 14. Okay, that's it. So only at 15. If you had more, maybe you'll be able to go to level 16. So past this, you will kind of need duct tapes or past level 20 because some people are really lucky enough to get their uh, toys to like level 20 with only all ornaments. But after that, they just keep dropping to level 10, 12. So whatever. Now let's place this thingy back over here, baby. Boom. Plus we could have put in a bow, but uh, we don't really need that bow tie. Yeah, bow tie, not the bow. So we have 5,400 points. Am I? Yes, at least I'm in the top 50%. So I do think it's possible. Let's say if you have premium pass, like getting like at least top 50%. Percent rewards are going to be pretty okay, but there are still 10 days left, and I do believe that having all of your items at level 15 isn't going to be sufficient enough to even be in the top 50%, but again, we will see. But that's what I would suggest for you. Like, seriously, get the best items for your Christmas tree here, get those zombie eyes, get the rest of the best, like those zombie brains, like zombie fingers or whatever, upgrade them to level 50, because every free-to-play player can do this. Just go to the Snow Valley. It's super easy. Just use katanas there, like, easy peasy, and you'll be able to get that to your level 50 without a single penny spent and without really too much time wasted and we will all see at what kind of percentage here and which kind of rank we're gonna take because this is just what i'm going to do here on this season in this ranking i think i gave all the tips and everything that i could have given and i also came back here once to this snow valley because i forgot that i told you that we're gonna test out how it rides here so you know what it's not really that much faster than in a normal location but it definitely picks up some more speed here after a little while like the acceleration here isn't that fast but after that he picks up here a little bit of speed so hey that kind of works here and as i said maybe it's normal to have a bit different skin here that will work on a different type of surface like let's say if they want to have like two types of skins one uh, one skins that are just gonna ride everywhere and another type of skin that will work better only in the snow locations then maybe that's still 
uh, kind of works. And welcome back, guys, to our all-loved Bunker Alpha. So right now, we're going to try our best to get that floppy crate. I also have a lot of tickets. I think we're going to be able to open up all red and green and orange crates. So everything is going to be pretty epic. Also, I have here a couple of tasks to do. Like, I need to use, like, modified weapons to... Where is the task? I actually want to show it for you. So let's go here to the task. Boom, week one. And I need to do, like, 2,000 damage with any modified clothes and weapons. So we're going to do this. So I'll just try my best to get those... 25 level rewards because I don't think I'll be able to get here to level 40 as it just takes really 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 a lot of grind but hey we will see maybe maybe we're gonna do like a live stream or something so we'll be able to get to like that level 40 and we'll be able to get that CBR and suit but what is up dude so he's at level around 25 here I mean 25% so kind of okay plus we're gonna give these items that I already had up there so I do think that after we'll be done with the entire third hard mode bunker floor uh, we will be able to get that floppy crate and at the same time we're gonna be doing another task for another task for the raiders so that we can raid so let's here activate the sneaking skill why am i activating here the sneaking skill for a simple zombie you see guys this zombie biter uh, this fast biter does like six damage where the young bear does only what three damage so that's kind of um hmm, makes you definitely go hmm. again i do know that they made that zombie bear a little bit easier so that all the players can go there like not only advanced players but newcomers could go to that snow valley as well but eh Whatever, let's open up this thing. Inside, we're gonna get another orange ticket, baby, boom. And we're gonna open up all of them. And I think that we will check the red crate, what we're gonna get here after we'll be done with the third floor. But sorry, that's not fair. I wanna see what we'll get there right now. Okay, we're gonna check it out right now, guys, just because you said so. And you owe me a like button. But sorry, I already smashed it. Thank you very much for everything. Now, let's just hop over here. Okay, so we got a little bit of food. That's epic. A little bit of caps. Here, we're gonna get a shotgun and an Uzi. Very nice. So inside here, I'm just hoping for a zombie uh, I lights and did i get them i literally got nothing here what what kind of luck is this not a single ak only one m16 and one uzi so basically only two weapons that will work inside of the bunker bravo uh well whatever let's hop now to our third floor gonna try just as i said gonna try to do now here a couple of tasks maybe i'm gonna do these tasks more frequently maybe we'll even be able to reach that level 40 because i usually never even uh, focused on that i was just like and eh, whatever i'm not really gonna grind that much but as i see these tasks are kind of okay so maybe we'll be able to get to that level uh, whatever 40 i shouldn't be probably wasting here my melee weapons uh, all the time and my healing items and my armor that's like not my melee weapons but i wanted to say that i don't want to waste here my armor because when i'm fighting here three zombies zom at the same time they're doing a lot of damage okay so okay so he can't punch me over here so yes i can save up a little bit of durability because the point is i did not take anything else here with me okay so let's take that let's take that so how far am i with these tasks uh, so when we go over here so i'm already thousand damage so thousand more damage and I will be done. So we're going to now loot this another place. And what is the daily task? So I have to kill five floater bloaters with clothes and weapons. So, okay. So five more and I'm going to get 10 extra points. Okay. So we're going to try to do this. Let's go a bit further. And again, from those who, for those who do not know, I believe if you just got a simple pass, right? If you got the not plus 10 pass, but the simple uh, premium pass, I believe that you will have to do every single daily task and every single task here everywhere in order to be able to get those rewards properly so yeah kind of sad that developers never disclosed that anywhere but at least that's how season one and season three were i mean season two and season three because season one did not have these daily tasks well regardless let's get out of here and let's try to go to the very very top i think we're gonna now finish another daily task now if i'm not mistaken let's try to deal with this yes indeed we finished here some sort of daily task five extra points baby now we're gonna deal here with this exploder gonna try to do a little bit more damage obviously this is not a very efficient way to finish like 2000 damage tasks with melee weapons because i could have just done it like outside of this or like in simple mode bunker alpha this way i'd be able to do like double the melee da damage than i'm doing here it right now i do know that i have to waste here a couple of simple glocks just to s get some more inventory space because my inventory now is completely clogged and i don't have much space so we're gonna just break here a couple of simple glocks and also as you saw in my inventory i've taken a bunch of those uh, whatever they called uh, flare guns because i have like maybe 20 30 flare guns at my base and again these flare guns are pretty good they aren't that bad like one flare gun is probably like a modified glock like seriously one flare gun is just literally like one unmodified glock so i mean we're gonna use those as well because i mean they're just taking our space in my inventory and what's the point to collect them if one day they're gonna be useful then hey we're still gonna have them it's not like i'm using all of them here but now let's just try to deal here with at least this 
Frenzy Giant, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, and here we go. Just gonna hide it. Maybe wasted a little bit of flare guns here. Maybe, maybe, but again, who cares? I do know that one flare here does 100 damage if you shoot it, like combined with all the ticks of damage that he does and whatever, so 100 damage from that. Wait, the point is, what I try to say is that it basically has the same amount of damage that a Glock would do, the same amount of damage per second, because it does, it shoots like one bullet per second and... Uh, it does like 100 damage per one second and I think Glock can do around the same thing, no? Wait, actually not really, it's not gonna do, okay, so this, it actually has a little bit more damage per second than a Glock, whatever, I don't care about it, I do know that I had some stuff before done, so it does not matter. I mean, Flare Gun kinda does more damage per second than a Glock, but I remember, then why am I comparing it to a Glock? I think maybe it does only like 2000 damage as an unmodded Glock, that's why I compared it to a Glock, probably, I don't know, well, I still don't think it's gonna be really that viable inside of the Bunker Bravo, maybe Maybe never used it, so we'll see maybe one day how it works inside of the Bunker Bravo, but uh, whatever. So we're gonna try to use this one. How much damage is he gonna get? Uh, so 50. Okay, whatever. So we're gonna now deal with this guy, with another dude. As you can see, well, Glock maybe does more damage per second. I mean, you can just see how how quickly we're gonna just melt this Savage Giant here with my Glock. Look at it, if I just could hold it all the time. Look at that, how quickly it just melts, and now we're just gonna shoot couple of bullets here and the more I stack on him the better that works so look at that yeah he loses lots of health as well so you know what they're both kind of the same okay let's deal with that guy let's deal with another one very epic let's take here the rest of the items I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing here the entire third floor though but we will see okay so another bullet this dude is just gonna go to sleep we're gonna go like this so a little bit to sleep as well gonna try to hide here behind the wall all of them are gonna try to destroy me I'm just gonna go and shred them once again into tiny tiny smithereens they dropped me nothing and I do know that I had to deal with that turret because there's also another like some sort of task here uh i don't know five turrets in bunker alpha why that didn't work destroy five turrets in bunker alpha i had one out of five already or did that turret only count right now i think i had one out of five already and that turret did not count but again we're gonna see so this is gonna be the blind one i do believe that we are gonna go and deal with this bad boy once again and yes you guys your favorite moment of the day we're gonna be doing here the snap transition so we're gonna snap transition ourselves here to the blind through the blind one just like that so here we go, the blind one just went to sleep. Here we go, let's take all the items, and we already have 12 red tickets, so hopefully I'm still gonna be able to get those zombie eyes. I've seen a lot of and a lot of people getting those zombie eyes, but still not me. They've gotten it, like, from all different places. Some people got those zombie eyes from the crate inside of that farm, but I've done farm already multiple times, and I still did not get a single zombie eye there. I mean, so I don't understand if I'm just not lucky or whatever. Definitely just not lucky. What else can that be? Okay, so let's deal with this guy. Oh, no! Why did this happen why am i such an idiot just gonna hold it <laughs> smash the like button on the video just because Cyrus has zero iq so we're back here in bunker alpha i have no idea why did not i i have here my sprinting skill right now i could just sprint to that place where i died and that would have been a bit quicker i also took a glock from that red crate that we've just opened because i do think that those parasiters are gonna stay near my body and i won't be able to pick it up so uh, okay so yeah definitely nice that i took this glock guys otherwise uh, that would have been bit of a problem here we go let's try to deal with those parasiters the parasiters are really fast i thought that they're a bit slower but they definitely have some speed in them let's take some items here we go baby boom we're gonna take this another glock we're gonna take the rest of those and yeah today we'll definitely open up another floppy crate maybe inside of the floppy crate just wild guess we're gonna get thousand mgls <laughs> now guys i'm just hoping to get that from those floppy crates something uh, again like those zombie eyes not sure if that's possible but maybe that is okay so i need to take i can't take that can i use my flare gun on that if savage giant probably not really okay so that thing just gets stuck and okay so there's nothing i can do don't have weapons that outrange that fence okay so let's deal with this guy a little bit we're gonna just gonna do like that baby boom 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 now we're just gonna do a little bit of shots here with my simple glock most likely shouldn't be even wasting it i could just probably go back home and upgrade it but hey we're gonna do guys as we do as we always do, boo-boo. Okay, so let's deal with that. Now we're gonna put some bullets inside of the exploder. That guy is just gonna die, and that guy is just gonna explode here once again. Very epic, very nice. So I just, you know what? I still don't wanna break that Glock. Feels really bad breaking it, because after you fully mod it, like, it definitely becomes uh, more efficient, as you're gonna have just more bullets in it. You're gonna have, like, more durability, whatever, more damage, and etc., etc. So whatever we're gonna deal with this guy so 100 damage 100 damage 100 damage 100 basically it's 15 hard mode but 
whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna hide behind the wall here. We're gonna do just like that and just like that. Go to sleep, Francis Giant. Thank you so much for one more, uh, whatever it's called, the military notebook. Let's take this. Now, let's load these crates because usually you get some great stuff inside of them as well. Just like that. One military notebook. And we're gonna loot now here another chest. And while I was looting them and speaking about what we're gonna get inside of these chests, I realized that the first time when I did my bunker alpha, I always tried to not really get the tickets because I had no idea what I'm doing because basically for those who do not know entire bunker alpha here is just based around the this ticket system so it does not matter okay so I forgot to loot this guy I thought it's a turret for some reason <laughs> let's take this most likely you were screaming so bunker alpha is based around coupon system here so the loot that you get inside of those chests isn't really main loot there like it's kind of cool additional loot to find like you know like a little bit of aluminum wires a little bit of aluminum or whatever other stuff just simple aluminum bars i mean like that's cool but the main loot that you get here are from those coupons and when i started playing here this game i didn't really care about those coupons as i had no idea what i'm doing so i just tried to go and open up my chest here and uh, usually i was pretty poor from those chests i didn't get anything you know i'm just gonna fight here forever because back in the days you could use bows you know i would use a bow for like five minutes just to fight like one frenzy giant or something i get it i open that place up and inside i'm gonna get like you know like one aluminum wire and i'm like what is this loot so that was kind of disappointing but then i realized that the loot there is not the point the point is just to get those tickets okay so we're gonna hide just like that gonna definitely heal up we're gonna take now here a shotgun maybe a little bit more of those flare guns because they were just the reason why i took them here in the first place so i think that uh, two more bullets are gonna be enough okay so just like that and shotgun very nice so let's take this now we're gonna also open up that oh there's gonna be another french giant i forgot about it well another one of those whatever military notebooks that's just crazy okay let's get this i think we're gonna be fighting him here behind the fence because why not so i think you need like 10 uh, simple of those shots to actually deal with this guy because they do like 50 damage so we're gonna just get oh no what is this life Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because I'm a professional player here as you can see died only twice inside of the bunker alpha doing wall trick like god damn it Okay, so we're back here in bunker alpha and hopefully I'm not gonna die from that frenzy giant I did take here a bit different glock no healing items nothing so if he attacks me Oh my god, he's so fast. He's so fast. I'll die if I die here right now without armor. That's it That's it guys. I gotta be super. Oh my god. I've never been more stressed in my life What my my loot is gonna just oh, I survived <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I died, I would have lost here everything inside of this body. Don't be like me, guys. Seriously, no, be be more careful with what you're doing. That's just all I have to say, guys. Have a little bit of a brain. Don't be like me without uh, like a brainless creature, guys. Whatever. Let's take this stuff. Let's get rid of this Glock. Let's, guys, take more flare guns. More of those. Yeah, another spread shot. I think that will be pretty good enough. And let's just continue here with this bunker, hard mode bunker. I mean, I don't think... Yeah, there's just frenzy giants. I don't know if I'll be doing here entire third, but I need to do the third floor for the raiders task. So I, I think we just got to go fully, uh, fully right now because we committed here. So I got to do it. But Sarka didn't commit anything. Well, I committed to this bunker alpha and we got to do it. So we are going to do it. Okay, so one, two, okay, 150, basically 200. 250 damage and another one on the top and he should just go to sleep here go just dead lying on the floor and kind of crying and asking for his mama okay so one two three four okay so 250 uh, no that didn't work okay so basically 300 uh okay no 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 and then just shotgun shot in the face look at that how the guy just flew away very epic so we're gonna go and try to Wait, how many shots? Okay, so that thing just almost got destroyed. The durability in these flare guns is really low. So I think you can do like 20 shots from it and that's it. So whatever, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go over there. Could definitely do wall trick on these French giants, but hey, one, two, three, four, uh, five, 250, 300, 350, 400, basically. So he should have like, uh, yeah, just as I thought, guys. Very nice. So basically, 10 shots and then to just go to sleep. A bit less than 10 shots, like 8, 9 shots or something. Let's take uh, another loot from this stuff. Okay, so we just got in another red ticket. Are you kidding me? Already 16 red. I guess that's epic. So we're gonna open up now another locker. And I'm not gonna be activating this terminal for those, because for those who've been watching my videos for a really, really long time, you do remember that I just kept activating here this terminal, but this terminal only deactivates here these uh, alarm thingies, and I never kinda really paid attention to that i just was deactivating them because why not okay so 150 200 right now 
to 50, 300. Okay, so I think we'll need to do one more shot just like that. And here we go. He just goes to sleep. So you know what? These flare guns are kind of good when you start counting shots and when you know what you're doing. Like 50 damage each shot is kind of cool. I think it does even more damage than a shotgun because I think just... Yeah, the shotgun just only does only like 80 damage. So yeah, flare gun is kind of cool. If it does 100 damage, I might be totally mistaken and confusing something. But I assume it does 100. Okay, let's go through this place and we're going to do more shots. Okay, so... Why? No, 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 dude. Why did you waste the shot? Okay, so I think this one will last only with two. Another one. Here we go like that. The spread shot, dude. Just spread shot all of them. And that's it. Here we go like that. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Little bit of shots. Like that, like that. Boom and boom. That's it. He's just gonna burn. Let's take the loot over here once and let's take the other stuff here go twice epic So now I'm just gonna loot this crate and the point is hopefully my armor Oh, no, as I said, I do have to make this entire third floor. I keep forgetting about it I just wanted to get away from here as fast as possible But we will have to do it. Okay, so let's deal now with this No, not the toxic spitter dude, but this guy can you aggro on this exploder, please? Okay, so we're gonna go behind the exploder. No, no, no. Why they are so fast, dude. Okay, exploder exploder Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so yes, indeed, that worked. Worked perfectly. He didn't even drop a single ticket. Wow. Maybe after they burn, they don't drop anything. But I doubt this. I think it's just a rumor and speculation. And maybe I'm going to have some armor inside of my inbox. So I'll be able to go and deal with this stuff uh, without going out. Because I definitely don't want to now leave this bunker alpha for, like, whatever random stuff. Okay, so let's deal with this guy. Very nice. Thank you very much for it. Simple tag. Are you kidding me? Okay, this guy, this guy, 40, 40 damage. Epic. Now we're going to activate here the terminals. Only a couple of dudes left. I do believe that, yeah, shotguns maybe will be enough. I don't know. I know but I'll need different armor. That's for sure. Okay, let's deal with this guy. So probably we're going to do like five shots or something. And then one more of that. And I'll try to hide behind here the wall. And we'll see if he's just... Oh, no, he didn't get destroyed. Go to sleep, pretty sleep. Thank you very much. 60 damage. Epic. So one, two, three, four. Four, basically. Okay, so 200 damage. So he should have like 300. Okay, so he gets less. Okay, cool. So I thought that uh, with five shots, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter what I thought. Okay, so let's try to deal with this here. Frenzy Giant, I think he's just gonna go to sleep. Thank you very much, Frenzy Giant. Let's take another notebook. We're gonna loot this place. Then we're gonna deal with the room of bunch of bunch of zombies. And another task for raiders will be done. Another red ticket. That's epic. If you ask me, that's definitely pretty great. Let's go. Let's take these all bad boys. We're just gonna hide like that. They're, they're just gonna destroy my armor. That's for sure. I'm not even doubting with it. Okay, so let's go. Another one. Another one. Okay, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why they keep doing this? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. And my weapon broke, so that was totally, guys, 100% calculated. Now, we're gonna try to take some stuff from my inbox. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm gonna have here some armor. Well, I do have, like, this tactical set, so we're gonna take it. Here we go, baby. Boom. We're gonna get rid of the old one. Here we go. Let's delete the rest of the stuff here, and hopefully I'll have enough weapons. I just have here like literally a shotgun and a spread shot uh, so no sh i mean spread shot and a flare gun that's what i try to say so we're gonna go through this door now we're gonna deal with this frenzy giant kind of sad that frenzy giant doesn't take any damage from electricity i think it will be would have been dope i think i already said that once but yeah as i said that would have been dope let's open that up we're gonna go back here through the door we're gonna open up this locker couple of zom zoms and we are done with the third floor hard mode bunker here we go baby boom over here just like that spread shot in their face this guy's gonna go to sleep this guy's gonna go to sleep okay so exploder you know what we're gonna do with exploder here we go like that like that and like that and i think he's just gonna burn no didn't burn are you kidding me are you kidding me it was too slow. I thought it will work. Well, it didn't work. Let's take another notebook. Yeah, for sure, guys. We're going to get here entire floppy crate and even more. Like, I think this is the best uh, third hard mode bunker floor that I've ever done. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, 20 military notebooks in the third floor. Like, that's just impossible. Seriously, the luck today is through the roof. So let's try to gather all of these dudes, baby. Boom. I think maybe I'll be able to hide here just like that, depending on how many of them will be able to damage me and i think we're just gonna start shooting them here we go a little by little and uh, yeah yeah most of them can actually go and start destroying me 
so we will see. Okay, so Toxic Spitter, Toxic Abomination, basically. Okay, so we'll be able to hide here behind the wall and deal with them kind of little by little. Just don't, ha just still have to pay attention to my health, otherwise that will be sad. Okay, so another Toxic Spitter. Okay, so I think Toxic Spitter just went to sleep. Okay, so another spread shot just in their face. So only two of them are left, that's it, right? Yeah, so only Toxic Abomb, another Toxic Abomb, and only one of those dudes is left so i do believe that i'll have to bring here another shotgun because this shotgun is just going to break so one two three and then shotgun in the face that's it that's it so we are done with entire third floor we cleared that huge room was pretty okay definitely lost a little bit of armor like almost 50 percent of armor just for this single room that's why i always suggest you to not do this room when you're doing bunker alpha like third floor uh, just for the sake of opening up red crates because usually you don't get here a lot of stuff there's a lot of zomzoms here and it's a really hard room so whatever let's get this stuff nothing inside of here and yeah just for those who do not know if you don't deactivate here this alarm if you're just gonna go through it it's gonna do just beep 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 thingy i think i've heard this sound maybe like a couple of only times throughout my entire game here in last turn earth survival because i usually never tripped on that stuff so we're done yeah, guys, we've done with everything, picked up everything. Let's get out of here. Let's open up my floppy crate. I mean, let's exchange my old coupons for the floppy crate. Then we're going to open it up. And maybe, maybe I'll be lucky enough and we're going to get those zombie eyes for my Christmas tree. And that will be all I need for today. And my seriously, the... Today, I could at least put the check mark that we have done at least something. So, but at least opening up Floppy Crate is good as well because I'm going to get here an MGL. So, we're going to place all of these tickets. Boom. All of that stuff. Boom. And I don't want to place all of them at the same time because I don't trust this guy. What if he's going to give me less stuff? Uh, yes, indeed. We're going to just split that up. One more. Is that enough? Yes, indeed. We've just gotten here a Floppy Crate. Now, we're going to place 12 of those. And it's not that much. Only 25%. I thought it will be more. Okay. So, now place. Uh, let's place inside this Floppy Crate, baby. Boom. And we are kind of done. Now we just have to sort out the inventory and go for the flap crate. But I think snap transition here is going to come into play. So see you guys literally in a second. So after forever and a little bit and 84 years of sorting out my inventory, we are finally done. So now let's go guys to this floppy crate and we're going to see what kind of goodies are we going to get inside. I would really love to get my infected box here because I don't think I've ever gotten here infected floppy crate after they introduced this acid bath thing thingy. So I seriously would love it. At the same time, I want to still use my fully modded machete here because uh, when we go here to these tasks, I still did not finish this week one task with not yeah with like 2000 damage i still need to do like six seven hundred damage or something so please tell me infected nah just a simple one this is so sad why me mate why me why all the time whatever let's deal with those guys we just need to do like 700 damage so with not in hard mode bunker it's super easy so i'm just gonna go deal with a couple of zomzoms here here we go another one here we go another one i do believe that we already done like around 500 damage or something here so yeah so 200 more and everything will be epic so poppy come to my pocket here go very nice very great puppy very happy that we've gotten him as you can see guys from this face i'm super happy that we've gotten a puppy here that's just amazing whatever let's go now for another zom zom is that it are these all zom zoms in this entire place i cannot even do like 700 damage here are you kidding me guys don't worry we're definitely gonna open up this floppy crate like that's for sure hey, can i do some damage to this guy like that yes indeed well i think we'll be able to finish this task then another time so now we're just gonna open up this floppy crate just like that baby boom and please inside like zombie lights not even sure if they drop this but who knows maybe 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 and inside we seriously got a nothing wow only one weapon only one ak-47 that's it nothing else only one weapon kind of not surprised at this point did i expect did i really expect something better at least an mgl but hey got nothing so super sad guys crate opening literally one of the worst floppy crates you can get and there's still that one guy well sir you've gotten two c4s and i don't have c4s be happy that you've gotten c4s and it's like dude dude uh, just sad life, seriously, guys. Just sad life. Smash the like button to make the life a bit better. So I highly suggest you checking out this video where I'm the best archer ever. Or click here on the second card and you'll see how I rated with my ATV. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.